guys, it's the Gaming Mermaid, and welcome to another episode of The Sims 4 Disney Villain Series. So, in this episode, I'm going to start it off with creating Cinderella's stepsisters, Gisela and Anastasia. And in order to do that, I figured what we should do is play with genetics. What we will do is use Lady Tremaine over here and play with genetics. There is an unknown parent. Well, yep, that is uh, pretty accurate. So, we are going to make her a teenager. We'll make them teenagers because right now Cinderella is a child. So I think that will be a very suitable and she actually looks like she could be one of her stepsisters to be honest So we're gonna go with it for now Um, let's see I'm gonna actually just make two of them and then we'll see which one looks more like Anastasia and which one looks more like Drizella. Let's see here. Oh my gosh. She's actually really pretty I don't know if this would be accurate to be honest. Let's randomize her one more time. Okay Yeah, I think that looks more accurate. Let's look at here. Oh, yes Oh yes, this is definitely the one. Okay, you guys, so we have the two stepsisters here with Lady Tremaine's genetics. Now, I'm thinking this one might be Drizella, and then this one might be Anastasia. I think that's what we'll do. So they're basically like really materialistic. They want to be fabulously wealthy. I think that would be uh, pretty accurate or, you know, either or to be honest, but we're going to go with fabulously wealthy and they are going to be, they could be hot headed. They are definitely materialistic and they might be like a snob or they might be mean. I think Anastasia is going to be hates children. All right. And then for Drizella, we're going to do the same thing for her. So she wants to be fabulously wealthy. She is uh, very selfish. I'd say she is jealous. She is jealous and materialistic because she wants to be rich. All right. So now we're going to move on and uh, give them some makeovers. Okay, you guys. So here is what her face looks like so far. So I decided to go with this hair. I know it's a really pretty hair, but I think it works for her. And I have the bow. This is actually a pretty accurate color. Her eyebrows look ridiculous. I gave her some uncurled eyelashes and a little bit of eyeliner. I gave her a little pimple here and some red lipstick as well. And a little bit of blush, just a little bit, just like from the game itself. So that is what she looks like so far. Now we have to go ahead and give her her outfit. Okay, so for her outfit, I decided to go with this dress. I think it looks a little crazy and it's a pretty, like a really strange mustard yellow type of color. So I think that would suit her, I guess. And I gave her some crazy accessories and nails as well. So that is just now let's move on to Anastasia. Okay, so here is Anastasia. So there she wears like this weird thingy on her head, but I didn't have that. So I decided to give her this little mini crown. And here is what her outfit looks like as well. So I think we are finally ready. So here's Gisela once again. We got Anastasia over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly do all their other outfits and I'll be right back with you guys. So as you can see now, I have them all separated into different households so that, you know, I can make sure and actually it'll be easier for me to control each sim and make sure that I'm not ignoring anyone. So for the main household, I have Cinderella and her evil stepsisters. So that is going to be like the first legacy of this series. We'll focus on Lady Tremaine as the evil villain her evil stepsisters um and cinderella as well and then i'm also going to add the other disney princesses for each disney villain accordingly once we get to the next legacy so let me go ahead and show you where they live so this is the main house as you guys know so this is where cinderella and her evil family lives over here and then over here no over here <laughs> i put um jafar and captain hook and then in this household is where i have everybody else for now because i can't figure out how to move them all like into individually into these houses but um yeah I don't know so anyways let's go ahead and get this started already so I've been spending a little bit of time creating sims so I decided to add some of the Disney princesses so of course I had to add Ariel the little mermaid and I moved Ursula to live with her so that's a thing that is happening and right now she's a teenager I'm not sure if I should make them the Disney princesses all children because Cinderella is a child right now but anyways over here I have Snow White and I moved the evil queen with her as well so that's a thing that is happening now in uh windenburg i decided to add the fairy godmother because she'll be the one that like saves cinderella you know I, that's what i'm thinking anyway so anyways that 
is that. And then over here in Forgotten Hollow, let me just show you again. So Cinderella and her evil stepsisters and Lady Tremaine live here. Then I have Captain Hook and Jafar over here as well. And then over here, all that's left is uh, Maleficent and Cruella de Vil. So that is everyone. That is our current household. So let's actually go in the game now. And if you have suggestions for who you would like to see as well in this series, definitely let me know in the comments down below so I can do so. But anyways, here we are in the game with Anastasia over here. So Anastasia, she doesn't like Cinderella. She's very jealous of Cinderella. So <laughs> we're going to flick her nose because that's what we like to do. Oh, it's very foggy here. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh, she liked it though. Okay, well, <laughs> tease about face. Yes, she would totally do that. Hey, your face looks so ridiculous. Like seriously? She hates children. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is she? She's like, oh, okay. She's still like that. Are you serious? She actually is. To Cinderella is such an angel. Seriously. Seriously. The poor thing. My goodness, girl. You need to go inside because you're not allowed to be out here. You're supposed to be indoors at all times, girl. Oh my gosh, you guys. She really did this on her own free will. She is clean up on her own free will. I did not do that. I was just having her try to go inside, but she's not. So I'm having Lady Tremaine be friendly with her daughter Anastasia. They're, oh, look at that. They're taking pictures together. They just love each other so much. And Anastasia is like super angry right now she's like uh children some sims just cannot stand to be around children so she hates cinderella so much girl you need to go inside go in the house she is cleaning up the place she is so sweet the poor thing did you do homework i think she did so why don't you go ahead and eat something hopefully she can go ahead and do that is she locked out i think she might be locked out oh my goodness you guys can she can she not go out here can, can you go in here? <gasps> Look! Oh my gosh, Gisela is actually cleaning. Okay, she is actually locked out. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, unlock this for her. Okay, hopefully now she'll be able to go in here. Please, please go inside. Okay, now we will lock it again. Okay, um, a lot of things have been happening. <laughs> so, um, Lady Tremaine got some free earbuds. She's listening to some classical music. And apparently, Caleb is like, there's a rumor going on that a crazy party is happening at the chalet right now. Now, the thing is, is that Drizella and Anastasia don't start school just yet. They start school tomorrow. So I think this will be a great opportunity to have Anastasia and Drizella potentially meet Prince Charming because, you know, we want to get them married to a rich man. So let's see if there's any uh, potential. Let's see here. Do we have anybody that is worth the time of day? We have a guy over here looking a little crazy. We have this guy looking a little crazy as well. You know what, you guys? I'm not sure if any of these guys will be suitable. I don't think any of them are Prince Charming, to be honest. Maybe Caleb might be a, might be a good potential victim here. So let's go ahead and uh, boast about our family, you know. I have two wonderful, beautiful daughters that I think you might want to get to know. Yes, exactly. You should totally get to know them. They are right over here. Do, do you see them? They're, they're right over here. Drizella, Drizella, come over here. <gasps> Feeling forlorn. No one likes me. No one will ever like me. I'll always love you. People like you. Look around. Okay, we'll do that one. Gisela. Gisela, why don't you go ahead and do a friendly introduction to this young man right here. Anastasia, you too. You, both of you. Both of you come over here right now. Right this instant. They are not listening to me. Okay, there we go. So she's talking about she wants to move in with him already. Okay, girl, um, calm yourself. Hold your horses. We don't want to go too fast, too quickly. I don't know, you guys. That guy does not look like he's Prince Charming, to be honest. Here's the party. Um... It's a little bare. It's a little barren right now. But, uh, oh my goodness, you guys, look how gorgeous this place is. <gasps> it looks amazing, but I'm not seeing any good potential. Hmm, let's see this guy over here. Hello, sir. Uh, he is a young adult, so he's a little bit older. Actually, I think they're all young adults, to be honest. <gasps> okay, then. I have Cinderella working hard at school, so once she comes back home, she's gonna have to clean everything up because these two girls have been making a huge mess in the house. Let's see. Why is Lady Tremaine uncomfortable? She's tired. Oh, no. <gasps> She's, 
She has to go to work. Oh, <laughs> sorry daughters, I have to go to work. <laughs> All right, have fun on your own. Okay, so um, hello, sir. Salim, are you a uh, Prince Charming? I don't know, you guys. I don't know. Hmm, let's see. Maybe we need to up the ante. <gasps> Gisela and Anastasia just became good friends. How cute is that? All right, let's go ahead. And we're just gonna go straight in. We're, we're just gonna go straight in and ask him if he's single, you know? Hey, are you single? Huh? Huh? Are you single? We learned that he is single. Good. So, um, so like, uh, you look very nice, you know? We're just gonna have both of them flirt with him. Okay, he liked that. We complimented his appearance. She is flirting with him. <gasps> you guys, he is loving it. Confess our attraction. That's a little fast, but oh, 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 he, he said no. Okay. Oh, Gisela. Oh, Gisela, you went too fast. Let's flirt with him a little bit. Let's see if that'll work. He likes the flirting. He likes the flirting. <laughs> okay, okay, I see how it is. Let's, let's flirt with him again. Sir, oh, I didn't want to talk to this guy. Okay, well, I mean, he's not of royal blood, so we don't want to spend too much time with him. Let's go ahead and uh, continue talking to him. He likes the flirting, at the very least. We can't confess our attraction to him too early because then he'll just reject us immediately. But flirting seems to work pretty well. Okay, Drizella, you kind of messed it up. But I think Anastasia might have this one in the bag. All right, so let's go ahead and see if there's any other potential royal men over here. Any Prince Charmings? Let's see, are any of you guys Prince Charming? I'm not really, I'm not really seeing a Prince Charming sort of vibe from any of them, to be honest. But let's go ahead and uh, let's get to know this guy here. Let's see how he is doing here. Oh, hello. How are you, sir? Are, are you, uh, are you rich? Huh? Let's uh, ask about his career. There we go. We learned that he is a bookworm, so he might be really smart and he might be really rich huh what do you think Gisela okay so he's a blogger at walrus books um not exactly royalty but it might be all right Let, let's flirt with him and see if he'll take it oh he does like it <laughs> they seem to like that all right let's go ahead and get to know this guy over here we're just gonna get to know everybody to be honest we're just gonna ask for everybody's career over here let's see who has a very high paying job okay so we learned that he is open mic seeker at limelight let's go ahead and see what this guy is all about okay this guy is a vendor at hogan's grub stalls that sounds lame definitely not rich at all Un unacceptable really sorry sir i'm looking for a rich man so we learned that this guy is the opening act at limelight <gasps> Does that mean he, he's like a celebrity? Like he's a musician or something? Are you rich, sir? He might be rich. <gasps> I think this, this might be the one. Let's get to know him, huh? All right, we learned that he's neat, which is great. So he'll be able to clean up after us. <gasps> okay, you guys, let's go ahead and uh, ask if he's single. Let's see. <gasps> Anastasia has discovered that Moises is an alien. Who is that? Who is that? Is that this guy? No. Who is an alien? <gasps> oh, look at this. <laughs> Oh, we have some aliens in here. Oh, son up. Oh my goodness, you guys. So Drizella just learned that the rich guy is already married. <gasps> Okay, you guys, well, this might be a little difficult, but maybe we could break their relationship up. Let, let's see if that will work. Maybe we just need to become really good friends with him first, you know? Let's um, let's just ask about his day. Let's just get to know him and become really, really close. Oh my gosh, look, Drisella is envious. It's hard to see other couples together when you don't have anyone special in your life. Oh my gosh, girl, I actually feel kind of bad, but that was the whole point of this party. So you do have some potential people to talk to. She's going back. Uh, I thought you were going to go home, girl. Oh, we have a second party around here, but these are all girls, to be honest. Um, there's one guy here, but we already know that he is poor, so we're not interested. You know what, girl? Why don't you go ahead and go back home? Just go home. I already had Anastasia go home because she was super angry at the fact that there were a lot of aliens around and all of that stuff. So that was pretty crazy and uh, yeah, definitely not a good idea. So Lady Tremaine brought home 200 simoleons. She is doing a great job, which is amazing. Oh, also I gave a little makeover to this room here. This was technically like a dining room area, but they never used it. So I decided to convert it into Cinderella's room. So let me check on her. Where is she? Okay, she's downstairs. I don't know why she should be up here because this is her room. I have her clean her bed. So I gave her this cute little bed here with like little 
kitties on it. I gave her an easel if she wanted to paint. Maybe she'll be artistic. I don't know. I also gave her a journal. <gasps> Let's rant about her stress in her journal. We have this computer in our inventory, so I decided to just get a desk and stuff so that she can use that to do her homework and all that stuff. I also gave her this microphone so she could practice her singing. And I also gave her a violin as well so she could be quite a creative prodigy and a cute little bookshelf so you know if she, she likes reading books she wants to read with an adult for two hours so it'll be much more convenient now that she has a bookshelf in her room so let's see where is she oh she took her journal why did she leave wait where are you going girl you're not supposed to be outside what <laughs> what Oh my gosh, so she's ranting about her stress, talking about airplanes and stuff. Oh my gosh, we have a book in, in the time, love in the time of sandwiches. Let's go ahead and put that away. Did you do your homework, girl? Oh my goodness, I don't know if she did. She did not. She did not do her homework. And then what you need to do is clean everything up. Yeah, they left a mess here, so you're going to have to clean that up. And let's go ahead and check on everyone else. So, oh. Okay, um, well, apparently they're sharing the same room. I, I, I mean, we had a separate room for both of them, but apparently they, they just love each other so much. And I think they did their homework, so that is great. So once they get up, we'll take care of them. Oh my goodness, Lady Tremaine is super tired as well. So you know what? I think I will have Lady Tremaine take this room down here so she can go ahead and have that. Let's go ahead and sleep there. So you guys, I found this mouse hole in the wall. <gasps> You guys, if we have this, does that mean that little mice will come out? Oh my goodness, you guys. That might be a little crazy, but maybe it'll give Cinderella some companions because she's very lonely here. Maybe we should adopt a pet. What do you guys think? Maybe she'll take care of a little cat or something? We'll have to see. I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure that everybody is taken care of. And once everyone wakes up, I will uh, possibly adopt a cat for Cinderella. Well, it looks like Gisela and Anastasia. Oh, <gasps> Gisela met Snow White while at school. Oh my gosh, they've been meeting some potential handsome men over here. And and I have Lady Tremaine digging up for some collectibles because she wants to, you know, get some riches. So we're going to see what happens. I have never actually had them uh, dig up a uh, dirt hole here. So I don't know what, what to expect from that. I think she just got dirty from that, to be honest. Okay, let's go ahead and have her take a bath. Uh-oh, let's go ahead and uh, <laughs> take her back home. And it looks like they are back home no need to make room on the refrigerator door. <laughs> okay, Cinderella, you need to go inside, girl. Yes, go to sleep, please, and thank you. And let's see, Gisela is very tense. <gasps> oh my gosh, she wants to relax in a sauna, and she needs some amusement, so she's gonna troll the forums, of course. And Anastasia, however, is very, very happy. <gasps> she wants to call someone on the phone. Oh, sudden nap. Let's see, she is getting romantic with Caleb, so maybe she can talk to him on the phone and try to gather up their relationship oh my goodness let me check on Drizella here the poor thing so I had her send a happy text to Dominic the other day so let's um invite him to the current lot I think that might be really helpful and we'll also invite Caleb as well so hopefully now they will be good <gasps> Oh my gosh, Cinderella is a B student. Oh my goodness, girl. Oh, the poor thing. She is so tired. Why don't you go ahead and go to sleep? The poor thing. And then you need to do your homework. But she has been writing in her journal. I haven't had her hide it yet. So I'm wondering what would happen if I just have it out here, like out here in the open and see if maybe her evil stepsisters might steal it. Snoop in the journal while she's sleeping. Oh my goodness, you guys. <gasps> go in the journal. We gotta see the turtle. Oh, snap. Let's see what happens. Uh-oh, who is calling Cinderella? <gasps> Captain Hook? What? <gasps> Why is he inviting Cinderella? Captain Hook is wondering if I want to go over his house and hang out. The thing is, is that I moved Captain Hook out with like some random vampires. So that really wouldn't make sense. Captain Hook, you need to go ahead and like flirt with some girls. Seriously. But I want to see what this is. Oh my goodness. We have to clean that up. Okay, let's see. She is snooping on in there. Look at her, her evil ways. Let me have her do her homework as well. My goodness. Oh, she's laughing at it. She's like, oh, this is pure gold. I'm going to make a huge YouTube video of this and just make fun of her. Embarrass her in the public. Oh my gosh. Poor Cinderella. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was so bad. Okay, um... 
You should probably, oh no, oh no, her sister is here now. Oh, Sadaf, she's got a snoop in her journal as well. Oh my goodness, they're gonna know all of Cinderella's secrets. Oh, the poor thing. But before Cinderella wakes up, I think we should have Lady Tremaine go over, we need her to go over to the computer actually. Where is it? I think it's over here. And uh, we're gonna adopt a little kitty. How cute would that be? I haven't seen any mice yet in Cinderella's room, so I don't know how that works but let's go ahead and we're gonna adopt a cat oh dominic is here <laughs> gisella you might want to talk to your young man okay here we go oh they look so adorable oh my goodness which one should we adopt we got peanut we got pippa oh my gosh it looks so cute oh frankie looks adorable you guys i think i want to have frankie cookie is adorable too we got fidget oh my goodness they are all so cute i don't know which one to choose <gasps> sprinkles oh my goodness i think i'm gonna pick frankie frankie looks absolutely adorable let's adopt her gisella um your young waiter here is uh waiting for you ask for help with homework oh my goodness <laughs> it's a little awkward you're supposed to be romantic with this guy but um okay anyways let's see if we can flirt with this guy and uh see what happens oh Oh, 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 where's, where, where's, um, where's the, uh, person with, uh, the cats, huh? Well, we, we did adopt them, right? Oh, my goodness, he is right here. Oh, she, sorry, oh, oh, my goodness, um, hello, um, uh, oh, oh, this cat doesn't seem too friendly, um, uh, uh, I don't know if we wanna, um, let's do a friendly introduction, I, I guess, um, oh, boy, I'm a little scared, uh, Okay, she, she, she seems friendly enough to us, but she was not friendly to her. Okay, play with the laser pointer. Maybe uh, we could have some fun. Let's pet her, offer our friendship and all that stuff. Okay, well, she seems friendly enough to us. Hmm, maybe we should have Cinderella try and get to know her since, you know, it's supposed to be for Cinderella. But um, yeah, I haven't seen any mice or rats at all. Let's see, let's have Cinderella do a friendly introduction. The poor thing is so tired, but we're gonna have to wake her up. We need to know if she's gonna be nice. Oh, she is affectionate. Then I wonder why she was being so mean to the lady. Huh, let's see, Cinderella. Oh, <gasps> she's yelling. Oh no, that's not gonna work. That is not gonna work. Look, <laughs> this kitten already hates us. Oh, Lady Tremaine loves it. You know what? That might be something that Lady Tremaine would do. Interesting. She's nice to Lady Tremaine, but she's not nice to Cinderella. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. Should I adopt this kitty? I'm not sure. Or should I try to find a nicer one that will actually be nice to Cinderella? I don't know what to do right now. Let me know what you guys think. Oh my goodness, her journal. <gasps> she took her journal. <laughs> Why did you take her journal from her? <gasps> okay, she's putting it away. Oh, well, thank you for being so nice. Oh my gosh, that is spoiled. Don't eat that. Oh my gosh, everybody's taking a hold of her. Poor journal. Poor Cinderella has no privacy at all. Here she is just cleaning up the place. My goodness, this poor thing. Everybody is leaving. Drisella and Anastasia are failures and uh, trying to seduce some men over here. They just don't, they, they're just not in the mood to be with them. All right, Vrania is leaving. Your adoption evaluation appointment is ending. Okay, goodbye, ma'am. Yeah, that, that wasn't gonna work for us. Poor Cinderella is gonna do her homework she's got to make sure that she doesn't leave her journal lying around because people are gonna steal it from her but let me know what you guys think i should do in a future episode should i focus on another household let me know your thoughts and who else do you want me to add in this series as well let me know all of your thoughts in the comments down below but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give this video a like and if you're a new sub go back to become a mermaid or your merman but thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye guys